The Tarkov region has recently undergone a massive transformation. More specifically, the largest wipe event seen in a long time. New species, as well as an entirely new habitat, have been introduced, bringing a new level of uncertainty to the once stable landscape. Teams have been dispatched to explore these new changes, and will likely return with new information soon. However, one thing shall doubtlessly remain the same. One group of creatures will certainly prevail in this new world. The rats. Come along with me as we view how these creatures turn from pathetic little weaklings into truly insidious creatures. Rats begin their journey as the most feeble beings within the region. Hatchlings, equipped only with a melee, are completely at the mercy of any creatures they come across. As their primary competitors for loose loot, scavs seem to have particular hatred for hatchlings. Often, Artificialis into the Henta scabs will seek out the defenseless rats, killing them the moment they get the chance. Hatchlings care little for their own lives, and their sole motivation is to acquire enough loot in their secure containers before meeting their imminent death. The second stage sees the rat creatures arm themselves, though just barely. In order to combat scav threats, they equip cheap weaponry. The most well-known members of this stage are the Pistollings. These individuals utilize pistols, granting them protection at short range against scavs. The higher tier Pistolling rats are capable of combating other PMCs, though this comes at great risk to themselves. Other common rats at this stage may be equipped with an SKS or a pump action shotgun. However, there are many possibilities. They will fight when backed into a corner. However, they will attempt to flee from engagements whenever possible. Rats up until now focus entirely on scavenging for loose loot around the map. However, the next stage sees a drastic change in behavior. The third stage sees the dawn of the Camping Gremlin. Though often equipped with weaponry befitting of a mid-tier PMC, Gremlins will sit in one corner ambushing anything unfortunate enough to stumble by.
Their gear ranges from both ends of the spectrum. However, they almost always use mid-tier ammo, capable of piercing medium-quality armors. Often hidden near popular loot areas or in the bushes surrounding high traffic zones, they are exceptionally dangerous so long as they remain undetected. If found, however, their lack of fighting skill makes them extremely vulnerable. The fourth stage sees the rat populations split into two groups, the first of which being the KS-23 factory rat. These creatures are sometimes mistaken for chads, as they are far more aggressive than most of their kind. However, by studying their behavior and DNA, it is made obvious that they are part of the rat family. The one-tapping potential of the KS-23 grants them immense power against lone opponents. Should they come across a team, however, they may have a hard time. On the other hand, some rats advance in their camping nature and evolve into one of the most despised organisms in the region, the exit camper. These little bastards hide nearby the extracts, preying on creatures that let their guards down as they return to their burrows. Merciless and vicious, these creatures make up the fears of many of Tarkov's residents. Even the illustrious Chad specimens fear these rats and will take extra care when departing from the map. They are most commonly found in the D2 Extract of Reserve, the Emicon Checkpoint of Interchange, and the Gate 3 of Factory. However, they can be present at nearly every extraction point in Tarkov. Most regard them as the purest form of rat. However, there is one final stage that is far more sinister. The team killing rat is truly a disturbing organism. Fortunately for the creatures of Tarkov, they are somewhat rare, but with the addition of voiceover input, the populations are on the rise. We believe there to be only a few in the province, most notably one known as Sam. These horrific creatures enter into packs, earning the trust of companions before repaying them with a bullet. 
They are malicious and cruel, and have earned the disgust of our researchers, resulting in few wishing to study them. To other creatures, the rats of Tarkov pose at bare minimum an annoyance, and at worst, an incredibly aggravating threat. Their strategies make them highly successful, and damn it, there are so many of them. They have been around since the beginning of life in the region, and so long as life remains, they will also. In the foreseeable future, they will continue to pester Tarkov's inhabitants, scurrying, scavenging, and ambushing, to their little goblin heart's content.